many of you know what you want to do in terms of the change that you want to make in your life, but you then put it off until the new year. And I think that is a peasant mentality. How about this? How about we take a fucking inventory of ourselves? We look at ourselves in the mirror and we tell ourselves the truth. We look at our lives and we tell ourselves the truth. The truth is this, it's very simple. You're either doing it or you're not doing it. You've either been executing or you haven't been executing. You either are truly ready to make a fucking change or you're not. But it doesn't matter how many people who are motivational people, uh, personal development people, they're all gonna be putting out some fucking message for y'all, right? It doesn't matter how many of these we listen to. It doesn't matter how many fucking videos you watch. It doesn't matter how many courses you buy. It doesn't fucking matter. What matters is, is what you're going to do. But they're normal people that knew they needed to make a change. And they decided they were going to make a change and then they made it. But when you decide something is a must for you, an absolute must, when you cut off any possible, you say, I'm gonna find the way, or I'm gonna make the way. Human beings, when they resolve things, when they make a real resolution inside themselves, which is they raise the standard, and they make it a must, they find the way. There's no magical first step. You're so worried about the first step because you think that there's some like magical, auspicious first step. That noise, do something, create, get out there, try. It's time. It's time for you to level up. It's time for you to get out of your routines and start making it a reality and do something unique and different. Struggle a little bit, hurt a little bit, sacrifice and dedicate yourself. There is no excuse for not living up to the, your fullest potential. No excuse. Stop being a victim. I stopped saying I've got to wait for good things to happen to me and I said I'm going to grind. I'm going to fight, I'm going to work, I'm going to press toward, I'm going to learn, I'm going to do everything in my power. Doesn't matter if there's a tornado, if there's a snowstorm, if there's a hurricane, if the world is on fire, the job has to get done. It's about executing regardless of your emotions. It's my time, it's possible, it's necessary, it's hard. It's worth it. I'm gonna do whatever it takes, I can do it. If anybody's ever done it at any point in time in history, then what's possible for one, it's possible for me, and I'm gonna do it. You're one away, one relationship, one meaning, one person, one thought away from changing your life. So how do we let go of the past? Well, we have to create a compelling future. In other words, you're not going to let go of one thing until you've grabbed onto the next. So you have to create a new future. You have to create a future in it. And by the way, it's okay that you don't believe all of it initially, as long as it becomes repetitive and we begin to take steps towards it. Nothing is going to get better unless you get better. There is no planet in which your life situation magically changes without changing yourself first. If you are serious about change, you will make that statement. Not a statement of words, a statement of actions. Make today a statement day. Change the way you see yourself and begin to tend to the personal details. If you trust yourself, if you believe and don't doubt in everything in you, you can do it, you can do it. When you say a situation, a person is hopeless, you're slamming the door in the face of God. There's no guarantee that because somebody is now down on their luck, they can never come back. Who can guarantee that you can't make, that you can't have your dream? And say, in spite of this, I'm in control here. I'm not going to let this get me down. I'm not going to let this destroy me. I'm coming back. And I'm telling you right now, don't give up. I'm telling you right now, don't give in. Get through it. I'm guaranteeing you, on the other side, it's a reward. Don't cry to give up, cry to keep going. Don't cry to quit. You already in pain, you already hurt, get a reward from it. At the end of pain is success.
With myself, I have to hold the line. There are areas within myself where I cannot compromise. I am going to work hard. I am going to train hard. I am going to improve myself. I am not going to rest on my laurels. I'm going to own my mistakes and confront them. I am going to face my demons. I challenge you to see your problems as a great thing. I challenge you to start being thankful that you have the opportunity to grow, get stronger, get more focused, get more skilled because of every hardship you face. You need to make it a habit to start every fucking day validating yourself because life is a marathon. I have carved out for myself a new beginning. I will never be the same again. I made my first, you know, walk around the block that I thought about for so long and never did. I finally did it today. I've started, I have begun. That is an incredible source of inspiration. And that is to start, to begin, Throw away your New Year's resolutions. They are for people who aren't committed to lifelong change. New Year's resolutions are for people who aren't serious about changing. If you really want to grow, if you really want a better life, if you really want to live a greater life than you are living, you will make a commitment to yourself, a personal oath, that every day you will put the work in, every day when you lay your head down to sleep, you will know that you gave everything that day. If you really want a better life, you will commit to living that way every day, not just making a small commitment once a year. If you don't let go of the struggle of your past, you'll never experience the ease of your future. If you don't let go of the old you, you'll never grow into the new you. Let go of who you were, focus on who you will become. The new year is not going to save you. Only you can save you. If you don't accept full responsibility for your life, no resolution, no goal, no dream will save you. You must take full responsibility for your life, for the good and the ugly and inconvenient. You can lie to others about everything being okay, but look yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, am I giving everything? Can I give more? Taking responsibility doesn't mean relinquishing control of your life. It means taking control. It means accepting that your results to this point in your life are all on you. And rather than complain and moan about what went wrong, figure out how to fix it. What can I do now to create a life of success? What can I do now to create a life of abundance? What can I do now to create a life of happiness? One that I am proud to call my own. What are the successful people doing right now and how can I emulate their actions to mirror their success? Successful people focus on what they can do now to create a better tomorrow. They don't make New Year's resolutions. They set goals, achieve them, and then set new goals. Did you know that 80% of New Year's resolutions fail by February? That's just sad. Don't be like most people. You've got to have a greater vision for your life. Something that inspires you to get up and attack the day every day. A compelling future that ensures you do not give up when challenges appear. Your goals have to mean something to you. Why do you want money? It's weak to say you want something without having a reason why you want it. You have to have a clear target, a clear plan of how and when you're going to get it and a clear reason why you must have it. That's why New Year's resolutions don't work. There's no meaning. They're usually just empty goals, blind targets. You can't hit a target. You cannot see. You will never have it if it's not important to you. Remind yourself, I am in control of my life. I decide what my future will look like and I do that every day. I show that through my actions every day. If it matters enough to me, I will make time for it. I will plan for it. I will lock it in. I will get it. Define what you want. Understand why you want it. You must have clear goals and a plan. Take note of what all the unsuccessful people are doing and don't do it. 
observe what the unhappy people are doing and do the opposite. You can be like everyone else setting those New Year's resolutions if you want, or you can live with goals. Live with direction. Live with purpose. What do you choose? Take action. When you start to walk, talk, dress, and behave like the top people, you soon begin to feel like the top people. You will treat other people like the top people do. You will work the way the top people work. You will start to get the results that the top people get. In no time at all, you will be one of the top people yourself. It may be trite to say, fake it until you make it, but there is a lot of truth to it. Your main job in life is to create the mental equivalent within yourself of what you want to realize and enjoy in your outer world. Your focus must be on creating the beliefs within yourself that are consistent with the great success you want to be in your outer world. You achieve this by challenging your self-limiting beliefs, rejecting them, and then acting as if they did not exist. You reinforce the development of new life enhancing beliefs by increasing your knowledge and skills in your field to the point where you feel equal to any demand or challenge. You accelerate the development of new positive beliefs by setting bigger and more exciting goals in every area. Finally, you act continually as if you were already the person that you desire to be. Your aim is to reprogram your subconscious mind for success by creating the mental equivalent in everything you do or say. Make a decision this very day to challenge and reject any self-limiting beliefs that you might have that could be holding you back. Look into yourself and question the areas of your life where you have doubts about your abilities or talents. You might ask your friends and family members if they see any negative beliefs that you might have. Often, they will be aware of negative self-limiting beliefs you have that you are not aware of yourself. In every case, once you have identified these negative beliefs, ask yourself, what if the opposite were true? What if you had the ability to be extraordinarily successful in an area where you currently doubt yourself? What if you had been programmed from infancy with genius ability in a particular area? What if you had within you right now the ability to earn and keep all the money you could ever want throughout your life? What if you had a golden touch with regard to money? If you absolutely believe these things to be true, what would you do differently from what you are doing today? Your beliefs are always manifested in your words and actions. Make sure that everything you say and do from now on is consistent with the beliefs that you want to have and the person that you want to become. In time, you will replace more and more of your self-limiting beliefs with life, enhancing beliefs. Over time, you will completely reprogram yourself for success. When this occurs, the transformation that takes place in your outer life will amaze you and all the people around you.